come and get it Yo guys, what is up? It is Crown Kaiser, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the RGB shake effect. And yes, I just said shake. You do a, a, an RGB split and an RGB shake. Um, it looks really nice, and I'll show you what it looks like right about now. So, uh, sorry if this blows out your eardrums. I'm not sure if, what the volume's at. So, here we go. So as you guys can see, um, it looks nice. Uh, it might not look good because my uh, capturing, uh, my capturing, uh, I'm not sure what to call it. Uh, whatever I'm using to capture my screen right now doesn't capture at a good frame rate. So it might not look the best on your guys' uh, screen. Uh, sorry about that, but uh, yeah. So what you guys want to do is you want to import your clip and put it into the timeline. And before you do any of the syncing, anything, you want to go to Project Properties and you want to go to Stereoscopic 3D Mode, as you can see where my mouse is right now. And uh, go down to Anaglyphic Red and Cyan. You could click any of the Anaglyphics, I just choose Red and Cyan because it looks the best. Um, but as you can see, the colors are kind of bland now. Um, you know, it's not really as bright as it's supposed to be. So what you want to do is you want to go to color corrector, um, right here and add in the default settings and let it load up and now go all the way down and go to saturation and put it to 1.980 um, 1.980 and what that's gonna do it's gonna bring back the colors as you guys can see the colors are back and uh, yeah so now what you wanted to do is you want to sync it up to your song and uh, choose where you want your effect to be uh, I want my effect at exactly 400 frames Oh, nice but anyway I want to add about 400 frames so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more than normal on my clip and I'm going to press S on my keyboard go ahead about 20 frames so mine's at 420 obviously so once you get once you're about 20 frames ahead of your uh, previous cut you want to press S on your keyboard again to split it and uh, now you just have this um, and uh, that's what you want. So zoom in on your clip a little bit more so it's like this kind of. This. And uh, go to the event pan crop tab. And go to the starting of your clip. Now what you want to do is go ahead of keyframe. And zoom in. Don't zoom in, zoom in too much or else it's going to look bad. But zoom in to about there. And go to one of the corners of your screen. Make sure that there's no black bars showing. As you can see right now, there's black bars. Have it so there's no black bars showing. It's just the top of your screen. And go ahead about two keyframes. Go to the opposite corner. Go ahead another two keyframes um, to, to the next corner. And uh, by the way, uh, and just keep on doing that. But by the way, um, you might want to learn how to sync before you do this. If you don't know what syncing is, it's just matching your bullets to your music. And uh, yeah. So uh, once you're about four keyframes away, I'm not there yet, but I'm about to. I'm just going to rush through this. Um, and yeah, so probably like right about here is about four keyframes go to the end of your clip and rest and press right click on your event pan crop and press restore and so what that's going to do it's going to like uh fade out kind of it actually is relatively fast um it doesn't it doesn't uh fade out really slowly don't worry just do it um and i'll show you what it does later but um yeah, so uh, now what I am, what you want to do is you want to Im insert video track, insert a video track, and uh, copy the clip you just event pan cropped, 
and paste it on t on the top uh, track. Now it's gonna do nothing so far, nothing yet. Obviously, it just doesn't magically happen. But uh, you're gonna want to fade this in by about two keyframes, two frames, and then you want to fade it out about four. And what this is going to do, it's going to fade in your effects and fade out your effects without you having to do any of the animating stuff. So uh, it, it's it's pretty much a recipe for being lazy. Okay, it, it's, it actually really helps. So um, now what you want to do is go down to Linear Blur and drag in the defaults. You also want to uh, go to Stereoscopic 3D Adjust. And you want to add in the default as well. And now what you want to do is go to the stereoscopic 3D adjust uh, thing, and uh, now uh, just go to go to the arrow that's right next to corrections. Go to the uh, press on it, and there's going to be a drop down menu. You want to mess around with the vertical offset and the keystone. Don't mess around with the zoom or the rotation because that's just going to mess up your. Uh, event pan crop and just click RGB to, no sorry just adjust it to your liking oh wait so adjust it to your liking I like this so I'm gonna keep it here and uh, you wanna add it so it's kinda like mine uh, don't add it too little or else you won't be able to see it uh, you wanna add relatively more uh, kinda like on my screen and uh, yeah so now what you wanna do is go to linear blur and you want to turn the angle to exactly 100 and uh, press enter and uh, you want to go to amounts and click 1.100 I'm at sorry 0.100 so 0 0.1 pretty much and just press enter and now that's gonna add us uh, a nice uh, blur effect and it's gonna fade out all by itself so uh, yeah so now, if you guys want to see what this looks like, sorry if the, it doesn't look the best because I kind of rushed through it, and because my computer doesn't record the frame rates, right? Uh, yeah, so this is what it looks like. Uh, as you can see, when we pre-render it, it doesn't look that good, but just wait, it's not playing. Now, if I were to play this, it's going to look amazing, or somewhat good because I rushed it, of course. Um, something like that. Um, and yeah, so that's how it's supposed to look. I'm not sure if it, uh, the frame rate worked, but uh, if it did, you know, that's a good thing. But uh, whatever. So uh, subscribe, guys. Uh, there will be plenty more tutorials. Just give me some recommendations on what to do in the comments. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Um, bye, I guess. Um, yeah, see you guys later. Bye.